Let's do a Barbie extra number seven, Make Under, coming up after this. We got a new curvy Barbie extra. The artwork on the box is awesome. This is my favorite out of all of the ones from the second wave. I guess they come in waves of part one and part two. We've got a wave one, part one, and part two. They do three, and they release two other dolls, and then three came out again, and then we're getting two extra, and then there's two extra, extra deluxe sets, play sets, and I'm super excited to get those two. We are only seeing the ones from part B. These two were part B of wave one. And then these are the other two new ones from the series. The artwork is always awesome. Look at that. It's the same as this picture. Barbie Extra, you can see all the accessories. She comes with another cute pet. She has awesome boots. I'm not loving any of the stuff or most of the stuff in the other two, but this pack, which I got on sale at Toys R Us in Canada, so I'm so happy about that. I wonder if the sale is over by the time this video goes out for any of you Canadians. It might not be. The stole is awesome. The fluorescent green, I mean, that's crazy cool. The shorts I got for my new favorite Barbie looks doll, the curvy one. She needs all these new clothes, so these shorts are awesome. She gets the white shorts from the last Barbie Extra series, so she's happy to get these. I forgot that these boxes were so hard to open <sighs> because I like to save them. I like to be careful. Okay, not bad. I did pretty well. But here is her without the glare. Looking pretty cool in there. Oh, that purse is really cool. Yeah, she's the best one with the accessories that I like the most. I think that it's because you can play them down the most. Believe it or not, I see this as a simple piece. It is all one color, and it's just, it can, it's so versatile. It'll just wrap this around in many ways, and you can even wrap it around this way and have this shiny part. It is so cool, and look at that. This could be good for my Gem and the Holograms customs. I can see the Misfits rocking this piece for sure. Yeah, she really does have the best pieces. But these extra girls, they're just too extra for me. However, when something is extra, you can just remove pieces. So I'm definitely gonna have to take this elastic out of her hair, but let's enjoy her just for a little while. So she's got all of these little balls that she's made in her hair with the different colored elastics. That's extra. She's got these little simple hoop earrings. Those aren't extra. Oh, do I have to heat her up to take these out? I should heat her up to take them out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be good and do that. So I'm gonna wait to do that. Three necklaces on, and she's got her purse and that ring I like. And there's a bracelet on that arm as well. There's another, no bracelet. There's an elastic band on this wrist. Hopefully it didn't fall out or anything. And she's on the curvy body, and she has these awesome black shorts, just like the white ones that came with one of the other Barbie extras. They have the pockets. I love these so much for my new favorite doll. Where is she? She's right here. She needs as many black and white basics as she get. She's wearing these really awesome acid wash black and white shorts. She's wearing Ken's shirt, which I mean, you have to pull it down to make it look good on her. Um, yeah, love her, and she needs more clothes, and that's why I got her. And there's also a basic, like, kind of sports bra on underneath this crazy top. I don't know if this is a top that I would wear, but maybe after all the bling is gone, it would look good. Let's take a look at this purse. This I like. But look at the detail. It has zippers and stuff in it. I love that. Again, that could be great for Gem and the Holograms customs. These don't come with stands or anything. They come with cute pets, though. This ring, it's a giant 
translucent diamond and that's my favorite kind of Barbie accessory it's so much fun I love those things that's what it looks like on but I'm gonna stick that in my translucent doll accessory collection I guess the purse is also translucent and they always load them up with necklaces so we have this one definitely seen that before I like that it's in a patent wait what do you call that uh, I forget what you call that. There's a name for it. I forget what it's called. Um, and then we have this one, which is also in this chrome gold. Love it. It's a toy term that I know very well. And then this one also, it's a chain. A vac metal. It's called vac metal. I wonder if any of you were screaming at the computer screen saying vac metal, vac metal. So then that one's vac metal. The earrings are vac metal. You have to be careful that you don't let it chip. That's the thing. But do you see how she already looks better now that she's all, you know, just a simple necklace? Let's uh, take off this crazy top that has stars on it and see if that helps. So it just Velcros down the back. I like the ruffle. I like that it's in this sheer material. That's really cool. Pull it off and I guess she can step out of it. Now, you see, she's already looking cooler and better, and let me show you how, oh, you can't really do it. Okay, this is making me like the made to moves a little bit better. People were telling me in my last live that they don't really like these bodies because the made to moves are better, but I did manage to get her hand in her pocket, so that's making her look pretty realistic. I like how there's less joints and the body, it's more seamless. It looks more realistic and less robotic. So I get her hand in her pocket. I love that these have functioning pockets. I love the silver button. I love the stitching detail on it that I don't know if you can see because of the lighting. Oh, well, I think you're catching it. I think you're catching it. I also have this vac metal watch left on her. I guess it's a bracelet. Let's hope it's a bracelet. Watches aren't so cool anymore. It's a little too elaborate for me. I would have preferred just like a pearl thing. The necklaces were all win-win simple. Let's take that off her. Oh, I have to find it right now or I might not remember to look later. I found it. My hair, oh, I might have to use some for elastics. Lord knows she came with enough of them. So it's really a bra bra. I think these, they're kind of narrow at the top. I think Barbie can get away with also wearing that. So I'm gonna take off this necklace and we're gonna really look at these shoes. I've had these shoes before, certainly not in this glittery finish. I wonder if it's on top or it's in the plastic. Let's see, is it in the paint? I'm rubbing it and I'm gonna look on my fingers. That's usually how you can tell. I'm not getting any of it off on my fingers as far as I can see. Maybe, oh, I see, I'm seeing it on my finger. So I guess it is painted on. Yeah, we're seeing lots on my finger now in the camera. That I don't like. I don't like when it comes off, but these boots I like. They'll be a new favorite and they're gonna be a bigger size because they're gonna be made to fit the curvy. I'm gonna double check that on this one. The feet look about the same size. I mean, this is another way I can check. She's gonna steal these boots right now and run off with them. She is loving these new boots. Oh yeah. She's gonna be taking all of these fashions. Oh, she has a diaper on. What? She's incontinent. Look at this. What? Oh, black stains things. That's not a good sign. I don't want, I don't want to put these on and them to be staining her. That would be a really horrible thing. Maybe I should save this diaper and always put them on, put it on underneath the black pants when I wear them. Here's the sports bra. I guess I can take off this outfit and we can compare the bodies. I'm not going to dress her in the outfit though. We'll save that for another video. Let me know if you want to see a video where I dress up this awesome favorite doll of mine right now. She is my recent favorite doll. I don't know when I'm going to get a new favorite, but here is the difference between the jointed dolls and the made to move dolls. They're very similar, but she looks like a robot. 
and this is a more seamless joints so there are ways that i enjoy this more and there are ways that i don't they do have exactly the same hands and i believe they are the same color which is kind of great if you wanted to give her but look how cartoony her face looks compared to the new looks dolls i do love her though she's pretty cute the hair has to come out though i wonder if this is sacrilegious i know i took out the hair on the other one that was braided so well so this is nothing in comparison we still have to look at the pet see how they had curlier she had like froze but this girl has her hair straightened and then put in these buns i love the colors of these elastics that came with them i'll definitely be saving them they're really awesome pastel colors i am a fan of the pastel colors and the thing also about these extra dolls we always get extra long hair and i think they do that on purpose i'm not pulling out any of the hair so far so it's looking like this. I'm liking this crimp that the elastics have given the hair. There's gonna be an unusual part in the hair. So usually I do this in a ponytail. I wonder how I'm gonna end up doing it. Wait till you see all these colors together. It looks like the colors are repeated, but just in a different order on the other side. Love those pastel colors. Such a huge fan of that. Okay shaking her hair around. I'm gonna have to put her head under the tap. Oh, I usually do that. I put their hair under the tap anyway because I want to straighten their hair, but also I want to heat up her head and take out the earrings. I'll do that at the end of the video. I'll save that till the end. And I usually end up putting their hair in a ponytail because it's just so much easier for me to work with. And yeah, I think she would look great with this long ponytail. I think that's what we're gonna do. But I will wet it. It's not the softest hair. It's not the coarsest hair either though. It's like somewhere in between. But I like it because it's falling nice and it feels like real hair. It feels like my hair. But first, before we do the complete make under, I'm going to show you her cutest little pet. I don't think this is the cutest pet of all the different pets, but I think it's pretty cute. It actually is pretty cute when it doesn't have the accessories on. I love when you can strip them down to just the plain pet. You can't always do that. They didn't put the holes into its head like they did with the last one that wore sunglasses. It just balances in its sides of its fur. Can we see the place? See, there's two grooves. Oh yeah, they did that very seamlessly. It's got sly eyes. And that's its bum. It's cute. They did a good job with this one. And this is the first one to have accessories that it can't wear at the same time. It has two different pair of sunglasses. So blue or green. Let me put these ones on. Oh yeah, we look like good pals. Yeah, those look great on me. So yeah, they're cute, and um, I don't know why they did that. And then it also comes with a drink. I'm not sure if this is for her or for him. Slate is gonna love this drink. It's such great colors. I love that orange slice in there. I love this, and look at that pink. It's just like my shirt, it's such a great pink. We're looking at the great colors we got going on here. Here's the pattern on this, so good. These shorts unfinished hem just like the white ones they are of a softer cotton which is nice she's gonna have so many denim shorts to wear can't wait to do that video where i try on all of her new clothes okay stay tuned to the end i'm gonna go wash her hair and take out her earrings and you can see her total make under this is such a lot of hair this is so great like comment share and subscribe love you so much again stay tuned to the end She kind of has a familiar face. Looks like some girls I know. It's um, good news probably for you that uh, she will fit on this made to move body. And the earrings were like this, not like the BMR ones. Those are hard. You do have to heat them up, especially with the vac metal ones, 
where they can chip easily if you pull on them or use pliers on them or something. So I did manage to get that working. This is what her long hair would look like if it was down. She probably still has water in her head. So I'm gonna put it back on. I'm gonna cut those off just so it's easier to put the head on and off if I want to. Put the head back on for now so you can see what she looks like with her hair down, even though it's not the best from what I did. Again, it's a bit coarse, but my style of choice is to put it in a high ponytail out of the way. And I'm not going to use one of her awesome pastel elastics. I'll just use one of these white ones that I have. And something I also usually do is take a strand of hair and wrap it around to hide the elastic. Just make it look that much more professional, I guess. But that is one full head of hair that she has. I guess I like that look. It's a lot of hair. You can see there's uneven parts of it, I guess, depending on which side it came from. But I'm probably going to take a strand and I'm gonna wrap it around like so. I don't know, I just tied it in a knot for now. You can't really see with the lighting anyway, but this is how I'm having her. Maybe I can just put her in this risque outfit to complete the make under. I could just put her in this outfit like this. Yeah, I think she looks a thousand times better like this. She kind of looks like a pop star that I wouldn't know the name of because I'm not down with my current pop stars, but she definitely looks like one. Let me know below which pop star she looks like. <laughs> anyway, that's a sexy outfit, and I think she looks a thousand times better than she did, even though I love, this is so much fun to have all of these extra pieces to mix and match. I can't wait to get all of my pets together and take a nice Instagram picture with all of the pet friends. Do you love her? Do you like my make under? Do you think she looks good? Do you like her more simplified, like I do? I love her now. Yeah, now I can appreciate her more. Her sunglasses. I always forget the sunglasses. They're tight around her ears. Look at how they, they're also vac metal. They really shine. They're too narrow. I don't like a, a narrow sunglass like that, which we seem to be getting a lot of Barbie. It must be a trendy style of glasses right now. Well, they look pretty cool, I have to say. There's something different about them than your average narrow sunglass. I do like them a little better. She does look like she might be blind, though, because they, they're totally opaque. 